painting at this point, there are layers that go all the way down to the panel, are very thin, and layers next to it that are thicker. Some of those I may choose to leave, but I want to make those decisions now in, a, in a, um, an intentional way. So I have put wax over this little section here, and now I'm going to be scraping it away, and you'll start to see the paint will have a slightly different character because I'm doing that. It'll certainly have a different surface. It's going to be much smoother. And so now you get something that looks like it's very textured, but it's absolutely smooth. And then when I do this on areas that had very bumpy paint, you get to see an interesting reveal of the form and texture that's underneath. Like that dot just became exposed. And I think you can see I did some more stuff to make these buildings in the back come to life by um, using tracing paper and pastel colored uh, transfer paper in the back and then working into it. natural um, crevice for that to live in the subsequent layer of paint. Especially how different this looks from this as a way of making lines. And how different does this look from this, which is from a transfer line. And then this is just a painted edge. And then this is left vacant where those things are sort of in and out of focus. 